Okay, so everything's wired up, everything's in there. Um, I brought it up slowly on a Variac. I tested it with no tubes. I tested it with just the rectifier, measured some voltages. And now I have the rectifier and all of the preamp tubes in. I don't have the 6v6s in. So I'm just going to measure some voltages and watch for smoke. And I'm going to record the voltages on this nifty little chart here that uh, was downloaded from www.bustedgear.com. And uh, then we'll have a baseline to work with. So here goes. So um, I'm going to keep one hand behind my back as much as I can. But here as I'm measuring a C across the filaments, across the... Uh, filament wires, I'm going to have to use both hands. We're looking for about 6.3. 6.46, so that's good. And that's probably going to be um, fine all the way across. I did check for a continuity earlier. All right, so now I'm going to switch to DC. One hand behind the back. And... Um, We'll check, first of all, the plate voltages. And first we have to take it off standby. <laughs> Good for me, at least you know the standby switch works. Okay. 178. Come on, you. And 182. All right, I won't bore you with the rest of the measurements, but uh, we'll go through and we'll see how we're doing that way. And then I'll come back in a minute. Okay, well, I would say that all of the voltages are on the low side. Now, that might be because I'm using the 120 volt tap rather than the 125 volt tap. Could be, um, but we'll see what happens when we put the 6v6s in. So uh, we'll do that next. Incidentally, just this little uh, safety announcement here. I am draining the caps, the filter caps, after every time I'm doing something uh, before I touch the amp, because as you know, those caps can maintain quite a charge and I'm checking to see exactly yeah, so drop down to less than a volt there now. We're good to go. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of math. And uh, the 66, the JJ 66s, I'm using JJ's here. Uh, it's a 14 watt tube. So the maximum plate dissipation is 14 watts. We're probably looking for about 65% of that. That would be not too cold, not too hot. And so 65% of 14 watts is roughly 9 watts, and we know the plate voltage was 354 volts. Should really be measured plate to cathode, but that's close enough. So 9 divided by 354 is going to give us 25.4. So we're looking for around 25.4 milliamps as current. So I've got my handy-dandy little um, bias probe here. And we'll take it off standby and we'll adjust the bow. Oh, that's cold. We'll adjust the bias pot. Let that warm up. Yeah, be quiet, you. That's pretty good there now. We'll just wait a little bit, see if that holds. Seems pretty good. Okay, so there we go. I think we're almost ready for sound test. Well, a bit of a minor disaster. Um, I decided to try to dry fit 
the chassis in the cabinet and it was super tight and it turns out that it sort of got stuck halfway and the edges of the faceplate here were catching on the tolex that was folded inside and so I spent about 40 minutes trying to get it out and I finally got the bloody thing out but I did damage the faceplate a little bit it's not the end of the world but you know it's a little bit depressing okay well after a fair bit of troubleshooting it's working <laughs> See, that's the vibrato channel with the bright switch off. The reverb, it's generally pretty quiet. The reverb is a little bit noisy. You hear a little... And I put a, uh, I built a dummy plug for the uh, vibrato pedal, so I don't have to use a pedal because we have a switch right on the intensity here. So we can get some tremolo. <laughs> That's wild, love it. It does uh, drop the volume though, I noticed quite a bit. And uh, anyhow, I'm very happy. I really like the sound. Oh, he's picky there. Yay! All right, well, that was a fun build.